Hello Galaxy Station viewers, time for a charging test and this time my guinea pig is Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 which I have bought recently and made several video about it. You can see the video link on top of this video. Okay, a few days ago I published a video about a third party charger which I was quite satisfied to use. It has a USB and type C input and it also has magnetic attraction. If you didn't see the video already, please check the I icon on top of this video. In this video, I will test this third party charger with inbox original charger to see is there any difference in charging speed i can assure that this third party charger can charge my galaxy watch 4 uninterruptedly without any issue and this charger can also charge your apple watch 2 for the demonstration i will use a samsung 15 watt charger because you might already know galaxy watch charger only needs 5 watt it is 5 volt 1 ampere so a 5 volt charger is enough for galaxy watch and this third party charger this is also oh sorry <laughs> the input output of this charger is exactly half exactly half of the original samsung charger this samsung original charger can input output 5 volt 1 ampere and this third party charger input output is 5 volt 500 milliampere so in this video i will see will that make any difference in real life charging obviously my tool will be once again a usb digital tester which i have already used numerous time in my video you can also buy this usb tester from the affiliate link of mine which is posted in this video description please follow that link if you are interested now time to test my galaxy watch has now only 18 percent of charge so i think this is the perfect time to test it uh, at first i will use samsung original charger okay my usb device is connected now now time to place the watch I am resetting the USB digital tester. Okay. My Galaxy Watch is charging. You can see the charging icon. I am turning off the display. I am waiting to the display to be turned off. And the USB digital tester is showing me 5 volt 0.3 ampere of current. And the total output is around 1.6 watt, which is way below the written 5 watt in the original charger. I am running this test for 15 more seconds. To see 
1.6 watt value is stable or not okay i think this is enough i am disconnecting it one person charge is increased on my galaxy watch 4 time to test the third party charger how will this work once again i am putting the usb portion resetting the usb digital tester i am plugging in the third party charger placing my galaxy watch 4 time for the real test yes this is charging oh wow oh, this is faster this is faster way faster almost 20 percent faster my digital voltage tester now showing me output of 5 volt and almost 0.4 ampere which translate to almost 2 watt of current where my original samsung charger only gives me output of 1.6 watt but this third party apple and samsung compatible charger giving me 2 watt of charging current this is amazing honestly i didn't expect this i expect both of the charger performing quite similarly but this is unexpected this third party charger charges my galaxy watch 4 faster than my original galaxy watch charger which is quite satisfying you can see all about this third party charger on my previous video which i have given link in the video description too okay yes 19 to 20 the charging percentage of my galaxy watch is increasing so charging works and what about heat no there is no mentionable heat this is very normal very normal so without any doubt i can say that this third party charger is an excellent purchase for mine if you are a galaxy watch or apple watch user you can easily buy this charger from the link mentioned in the video description i have given both aliexpress and amazon link feel free to ask any question thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed to my channel already then please subscribe thank you